Hey, what's poppin', people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, guys. Yeah, and I hope you lot are doing well. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a match preview of Chelsea's Premier League game tonight against Aston Villa. It's the box office narrative we've all been waiting for. John Terry's return to Stamford Bridge as an opposing coach, assistant coach. Lampard's attack versus John Terry's defense. I might be a little bit harsh on old Deeney there. I'm sure he's doing a bit too. But you know, the narrative will be about JT. Chelsea are coming off a home loss, obviously, against West Ham. A very disappointing performance and rather toothless up front for all the possession and chances they had. Villa are coming off a very credible 2-2 draw away at Old Trafford and probably should have won that game if it wasn't for a quite unfortunate Tom Heaton own goal. Probably should have been 2 1 Villa. And obviously, that was that superb goal from Super Jackie Grealish, who Chelsea need to watch out for, by the way. So the Blues need to bounce back and get a home win. It's no secret that they've been much better on the road this season than they've been at home, which is very peculiar because surely there's that, well, there is that immense good feel good factor around Frank Lampard and the club. So you'd think that would be sort of cultivated more at home at Stamford Bridge and putting in better performances. But no, they seem to be better on the road, which is very peculiar. The significant absentee last time out, of course, was Tammy Abraham, and he sh should be returning in this game. And we're going to talk about the lineups and how the game could go in just a moment. But I'm calling for your help, there, people. Yes, you viewer watching this now. I've started a foot champion series on my other channel, Yan Plays, and I need your help to guide me through it. Whether it's telling me how to play FIFA better, or giving me instructions which players to get, or how to play. Go subscribe to Yam Plays, it's the link in the top of the description. It's a very interactive series where I talk to you guys. Go subscribe and I look forward to chatting to you down in the comments. Right, let's talk about football. Chelsea still have a six points lead against Tottenham for the top four, but suddenly it's feeling a bit wobbly. It was a lot more and it wasn't really Tottenham Chelsea were worrying about, but since Jose Mourinho has come and sort of rallied them in a weird way. I say in a weird way because he's not doing a Jose Mourinho soliding him up and doing one nil wins. They're scoring three, conceding two kind of vibe. So I'm not sure how long Mourinho is happy for that to last. Anyway, Chelsea are looking over their shoulders a little bit now and Jose Mourinho will have his beady little eyes firmly fixed on Chelsea's top four spot. Because I don't think Leicester are going anywhere. So games at home against promoted sides need to be won. And that's no disrespect to Villa, they're doing a wicked job under Dean and John. But Chelsea really need to show their class in this game. I'm going to this game, so I want to see a win. Let's talk about how the game might pan out and who's going to play. So let's open the analysis screen. Boom, boom. On the screen next to me, you can see Aston Villa's lineup last time out at Old Trafford. Wesley up front hasn't been too great of late, but I guess as long as he's occupying centre-backs, he's doing his job. And you fancy him being able to do that against Chelsea's centre-backs. No matter who Chelsea play, there's all the softness there a little bit sometimes, especially whether it's with Christensen or Tomori, so he'll be fancying himself up against Chelsea's defence. On the graphic next to me, it's listed as a 4-3-3, but really this quite comfortably turns into a 4 Five one with just Wesley holding the ball up by himself as an out ball, and you know inside forwards coming forwards or players like Jack Grealish or El Ghazi coming forward to combine on the break or Trezeguet, dude, they can really combine well on the counter attack, and Chelsea can often be vulnerable to that. Tyro Mings is a really good player, and since he's been playing under John Terry as a sort of defensive coach, he's come on leaps and bounds, and he's a really really good player, and he won't let Tammy Abraham like you know bully him he's very very strong he's very very he's quite technically good as well so it's not going to be easy getting past their defense I think Aston Villa might sit in pragmatically at, at the beginning of the game I don't think they'll come out swinging it, even though they can play football Chelsea can often be very very devastating the first 20 minutes of a game we've seen that throughout the season when Chelsea are winning games or indeed losing games they're like high octane the first 20 minutes and then they can run out of ideas let you into the game and then you know you can see the goal on the counter attack get frustrated lose a game just like West Ham so Chelsea are vulnerable there and Aston Villa will absolutely look to play well certainly look to navigate through the game like that survive the first 20 minutes and then frustrate Chelsea counter-attack on them and indeed 
play football against them when their sort of confidence is dropped in the game. Because Chelsea's like attentiveness to offensive play is like a bell curve in football recently. Frank Lampard knows that and hopefully they need to find some consistency from minute one to minute 90. So let's talk about Chelsea a little bit and switch over the lineups to the Blues. Here we go, so I think probably 4-2-3-1 at home have to be creative. I see Frank Lampard sticking to Mason Mount. I see him starting Pulisic on the left and I do see him starting Willian on the right. Tammy Abraham is rumoured to be back but pretty much he's healthy. I I've said in days ago in a Chelsea news video that he pretty much confirmed himself he will be playing in this game which obviously is a huge plus for Chelsea because you could see how much they missed him last time at home against West Ham. That's a worrying thing generally for Chelsea to rely on a player so much but it's early doors, Frank Lampard's finding out a lot about his team, what he can do, what he can't do, who he's going to miss more, that kind of stuff. Growing pains, essentially. But he should be back. I see Frank Lampard looking to start N'Golo Kante, Willian and Tammy Abraham to make the difference. Joel Willian wasn't great last time out against West Ham when he came on, but generally he sees so much of the ball, he's quite important in the way Frank Lampard plays. Essentially, not having Pedro and Giroud starting will be a massive plus anyway. We could be surprised, I guess, and Batshuayi could start maybe and Tammy Abraham might come off the bench or something. But generally, I think Lampard and Abraham will both be desperate to get Tammy starting. The fullbacks is an interesting one again because between the two flanks, it could be anyone between Reese James, Emerson and Aspi Laqueta. I don't think Alonso is going to get a sniff here, but essentially, it's, I think Aspi will play in this game. He's been rested, he is a good player, Frank Lampard likes him. It's just whether Aspi Laqueta plays on the left back position or the right back position will dictate whether uh, Emerson or Reese James starts. Personally, I think the centre back pairing will still be Tomori and Zuma, but who knows, Christensen may come in. Rudiger's still one or two weeks out, apparently. So I do think Kante is going to come into the midfield, so who's going to get dropped out of Kovacic? and Jorginho for Mount, because I do think Mount's going to play. Personally, I have a feeling it could be Kovacic, although that's disappointing because he's been so, so good of late. Although I do love Jorginho, I could see him being dropped for this game, maybe Kovacic dropping deep, and, uh, well, I suppose playing a two-man pivot with Kovacic and Kante would be absolutely fine, and have Mount playing in the 10. We'll have to see. Right, let's talk about this game a little bit more and get rid of this analysis screen. Very important that Chelsea get a win today, although if they don't it won't quite be the crisis yet because remember the narrative up until this point is, oh Chelsea they're ahead of the curve, they're ahead of the curve. Frank Lampard said himself he hates all this talk because he doesn't feel comfortable about it and he reiterated how he hated that talk after the West Ham loss saying look we've got lots to do, I know where we are, I don't like all this positivity about us, it unsettles me. So of course it wouldn't be quite a crisis if Chelsea lose to Villa but considering how well they've started the season, it would look rather peculiar to have this turn. Chelsea have the quality, and they have the belief of the coach, and they believe in the coach. So really, regardless, they should be dispatching Aston Villa at home, and they can do that. So, they need to basically sustain energy throughout 90 minutes, and they can't run out of ideas. I think as long as N'Golo Kante starts, he brings a different dynamic to that sort of midfield attack. Willian can frustrate on the wing when he gets the ball, slows things down. I know that's his style, but generally Chelsea need to be playing quickly. I've watched a few post-match interviews of Frank Lampard across, you know, the Chelsea app and then media broadcasters. One thing Frank Lampard's reiterated is Chelsea forgot to do the basics, like the basics by their standards, and I imagine that's an attack as well as defence. Having that relationship between Mason Mount and Tammy Abraham together on the pitch is really, really huge. They've played together forever, they know how where each other are going to be, and sure, when you drop one out, it's bad, but them playing together is so important. Having a starting eleven that includes Mason Mount, Tammy Abraham and N'Golo Kante will make the difference for me in attack, and a game like West Ham where Chelsea couldn't break through that would have made the difference. You understand why Frank would have rotated for that game, but generally, with all three of those players starting, the dynamic of going forward in attacking play should be enough to break down the Aston Villa defence and win the game. Just have to see what Frank Lampard does with the back line and who he drops in the midfield. Aston Villa do have a few threats themselves. They can be very deadly on the, on the flanks breaking down, but also there's the creativity from Jack Grealish who will fancy himself to put on another good performance away at Stamford Bridge after putting on such a great performance away in Old Trafford. But I'm going to do a score prediction. I really fancy Chelsea to sort themselves out and score some goals this game. I don't think Aston Villa are any 
mugs, but I feel like Chelsea will have a point to prove. I think they'll go all out, they'll go full strength lineup, they'll want to impress, they'll put in their heads that they want to do the best they can. Uh, probably can see because that's what Chelsea do. I'm going to predict a 3 1. Now, I think that's a little bit ambitious because Aston Villa are generally quite a resolute side. Like I said, they've got Tyrone Mings, who's great. John Terry's telling them all how to defend. But I just have a feeling about this one, so I'm gonna say 3-1. What do you guys think? Get down in the comments below, let me know your score predictions and how you think the game will go. And comment on anything else I've said in the video. Remember to go and subscribe to Yam Plays and help me out on Foot Champions, please. And please do follow me on social media, at Football Yannick, on both Twitter and Instagram, at Football Yannick. You're welcome to join the Discord server as well via Patreon, link in the description, somewhere lower down. That's it from me ladies and gentlemen you lot enjoy the football and i will see you later you ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck i'ma get it how i'm living i'ma walk the walk outline my lines i rap through thought body bag the verse outline the chalk in my life seen trouble hustle on the double silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle yo chick like to guzzle bad boy stay in trouble i only love this paper sorry i don't I love me, baby.